Welcome to a very special Valentine's Day Overwatch edition. Here we're going to be playing, as you can see, Leverwatch. Let's dive right in. Hmm. It's better than I expected. Uh huh, uh huh. Fault size. A little bit of larger font, just so you can see. Language. Probably, um. Ingerish? Ingerish sounds good. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, we're good. Message speed. We'll keep it there. Overwatch 2. Lover watch. Love never dies. The official, but non canon Overwatch 2 dating sim. Can I hit space? Yes. I don't think I will. I think I'll click. Oh, space is just a. Okay, yeah. Any more settings? Save low settings. Graphic? It's all the same. Okay, gotcha. Oh, you ready to play this thing? Let me play. What's your name? My name is Protag Coon. Obviously. Your name is Protag Coon? Sounds like it's making fun of me. Yes, I'm ready. Set the scene already. I'm sorry? There was a lot there? Can we restart? Off to a great start! Game works phenomenally. <laughs> phenomenally. Now at 30% more punctuation. Yes. Let me play. Let's do a better name than Pro Tag Coon. How about... Is that how you spell that, Hal Saxon? TF2. Doesn't matter. Your name is Hal Saxon? Continue? Yes, I'm ready. Set the scene. Ah, that's better. It's Friday night in the big city. You could use a laugh after the week you've had. Couldn't we all? The Laugh Attic is one of the most tragically unfunny comedy clubs in town, but you love watching people bomb on open mic. Sometimes that people is you. It's particularly dark tonight. So dark it'll make for quite the dramatic reveal when your eyes adjust and you see who is sitting at the table in the corner. Eyes adjusting. 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 Oh my. Oh my. <clears throat> oh my. There we go. Is that? Is that who you think it is? <clears throat> it's Mercy. Genius doctor. Genius scientist. Genius inventor. Genius lover. We'll see. No matter how many times you blink, she's still there, and you're completely... I'll just be a fan. Mm, starstruck. Look at those fluttering eyes, those pillowy lips. Let's continue. You're amazed she can be seen in public without hordes of DPS players begging for healing. It's just like them to be nowhere near their healer though, huh? You'd love to get an autograph. And maybe a handshake? And maybe she'll even say your name. Zap. Hark! Do I hear the sound of heart beating faster and smell the sweat on your palms? I'm Cupid, the hero of love in all its varieties. It is my sworn duty to answer the cries of all who desire to love and guide them to fulfillment. You look around, wondering if anyone else can see this. Or are you hallucinating? Do not worry. You're the only one who sees me. I do not interfere in the mortal realm. Consider me the angel on your shoulder who will point you in the right direction. Okay. That's a definite maybe on the hallucination thing. Maybe this hallucination can help you. Now, tell me. Are you in love? I think so. It's 
kind of hard to tell. The path to love is often confusing, but fear not. I'm here to guide you through all its intricacies. What? It means I'm going to give you advice. Oh, okay. So, do you wish to win the heart of mercy? Wait, there was another option, wasn't there? <laughs> yes, I want to win the heart of mercy. He arches an eyebrow. To win her heart, you must arm yourself with the power of knowledge. How much do you really know about Mercy? Wait. Wait. Is he actually setting up a trivial qu uh, trivia quiz here? I'm waiting. <laughs> Let's be real here. If you'd prefer, we can test your knowledge of the medical sciences. I'll try that one. Maybe you should... I might surprise you. Or perhaps we should discuss something more nebulous. Like why Null Sector is attacking the world in the upcoming story missions. Oh, <gasps> story missions. Hit me in. The Overwatch development team hasn't even released those details yet. That's not fair. Hmm, true. Do you know what might be fair then? Trivia. Trivia about mercy would be fair. Even if it is, some might say, a trope. Test my unparalleled knowledge of mercy. Confidence. I hope it's well placed. What is mercy's real name? <coughs> Angela Ziegler. Incorrect. It's Dr. Angela Ziegler. Okay, Cupid Hanzo, Shimada. Stop that. What is your favorite food? <sighs> Chocolate? Close, but not quite. She loves Swiss chocolate. There wasn't an option for Swiss chocolate. A shame. Now next question. What is Dr. Ziegler's field of research? Biology. Specifically human anatomy. Incorrect. Yet again. She is a pioneer in applied nanobiology. More specifically, biotic technology. Same difference. In that matter of the heart, the details matter. As much as I hate to say it, you're right. I am always right. But do not worry. My magical powers will elevate you above your incompetence. Wait, I thought there was no magic in Overwatch setting. No more questions. Now, Mercy is a highly accomplished woman. What would impress her the most? I thought you said no more questions. After this one, tell me the most impressive thing about you. Oh, I wouldn't say really funny. Can't I just say hi? You can, with this mic. He hands you the mic. The mic they use to open mic night at the Laugh Attic. Click. The spotlight illuminates you. And Mercy turns her head. She's looking at you. Hi. Everyone turned towards you. Mercy sits comfortably back in her chair, expectant. <laughs> she is waiting. I said hi already. The crowd clears their throats. Chairs squeak. She's waiting for a joke because this is a comedy club where you make jokes. Okay, here goes nothing. Why does a surgeon like operating on elbows? He paused for dramatic effect. She swore to do no arms. The audience's silence goes beyond mere description. description. It is a living being, vast, timeless, hateful. It bears down on you with deadly intent. Then, Mercy laughs. A full-on, chain-snorting laugh. The exhilaration hits you like a damage-amplifying beam. A well-timed resurrect. 
She should probably get her sinuses checked, though. <laughs> you sit down at a nearby table, glowing. Out of the corner of your eye, Mercy stands and heads over to you. <laughs> Hello! Hi, Dr. Ziegler. I just wanted to say, that was very good joke. A very good joke. I'm glad it tickled your funny bone. That phrase is so strange. The funny bone isn't really a bone. It's a nerve called the ulna nerve, and it's responsible for the sensation in your fourth and fifth fingers, your palm, and... But of course, I understand your joke, which is also very good. Thanks. That ulnar nerve trivia was also really good. It wasn't humorous, though. Has anyone ever told you that you're hilarious? You're the first! Sadly, a doctor doesn't have many opportunities to be funny. <laughs> Look at that pout face. <laughs> Isn't laughter the best medicine? No, the best medicine lies in biotic technology. Yeah, let's rewrite that saying too. Biotic tech is the best medicine, so fund it. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, but I prefer that version. It's been lovely chatting with you, truly. Would you be interested in joining me for dinner soon? Oh my gosh, we're moving so fast. I'd love to join you. Mercy smiles. You could die happy right now and she would just resurrect you back. Fantastic. I will meet you at Cafe Azur at Circuit Royale. Oh god, are we gonna fight? Is this push map? I can't remember. Shoot. And, uh, and she walks. No floats away. You can't believe it. You're going to have dinner with Mercy tomorrow at... Wait a minute. Circuit Royale? That's not in Midtown. If you want to make it in time for dinner tomorrow, you better queue up now. How do you think things went? <coughs> Sorry. How do you think things went? You did quite well. You anticipated her feelings and interests. You are off to a fine start. I'm a champion of dating sims. You don't know this. Don't worry. The first date is finished, but the journey ahead is long and fraught with peril. We will endure these trials together. Scene change. Luckily, the hopeful future of Overwatch is a very reasonably priced transatlantic train. You arrived in Monaco in a few short hours. Monaco? Then why is the Eiffel Tower right there? It's not the Eiffel Tower. No, it's Monaco. Which is located just west of Italy. <clears throat> Anyways. Supercars zip by in the distance. The aroma of high-end dining wafts from nearby tables. The menu is in front of you, and you're cursing yourself for skipping French class all those years ago. It's exactly three minutes and two seconds past the time of your dinner, and Mercy is still nowhere to be found. Maybe she changed her mind. Maybe there's an international crisis somewhere and she had to go. Maybe. Maybe she's just running fashionably late. 3 minutes and 57 seconds. 4 minutes and 19 seconds. That's almost 4.20. She must hate you. Are you going to eat the breadsticks or just let them sit there? I am so sorry! She's flustered, having rushed over here. Did she fly? She's still in her outfit. I was working on a new dissertation, and I wasn't keeping track of the time. I got here as fast as I could. Do forgive me. Happens to the best of us. We're only human after all. Well handled. Really? Shouldn't I be honest and tell her I almost had a meltdown? Consider saving that for the dessert course. Mercy smiles and sits down. Have you ordered yet? This place does a fabulous... <sighs> Binets de fleurs de congrès. I think that's how you pronounce that. Fucking French. Fried zucchini flowers. You take a deep breath, nod, and look back at the menu. A berger moussili does sound pretty good. You ordered the berger moussili because having breakfast for dinner is one of the finer pleasures in life. And this was Mercy's recipe in the Overwatch cookbook. <laughs> I didn't know there was a cookbook. 
good. Do you like Bichet Musili as well? Because I also love it. It's the best breakfast. Yes, it is. Although we are having dinner. I don't let society's expectations dictate my preferences. Me either. Mmm, that does look fucking juicy. The bowl of Musili arrives. Clusters of bright, happy berries and a trail of green and brown nuts and seeds on a bed of white mush. Silence falls as you two eat. That awkward, but during dinner dates, where you can't decide if you should converse or eat or talk while eating and risk spraying your date with freshly chewed food. That's a mood. Cupid groans. Are you truly such an amateur? Start a conversation. What do I talk about? Something about her. <laughs> Let's try a hobby. I don't know if she wants to talk about work right now. What kind of hobbies do you enjoy? I like volunteering at clinics around the world and collecting crystals. <gasps> oh, she's a crystal girl. Dope. I can work this. Non-canonically, of course. Never mind. <laughs> like... Non-canonically healing crystals. My favorite is the Rose Quartz. <gasps> I used to have one of those in my house. Weird. It was uncut, though. It was very rough. It represents love, healing, and compassion. Ah, uh, it represents love, healing, and compassion, right? Right! You high-five Cupid. Mercy looks at you, concerned. You forgot that only you can see him. My godly knowledge and love does not cover how you recover from such tomfoolery. So helpful. Ugh. Just stretching the old lattices dors dors dorsi. Anyways. You now 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 time for the dissertation. Your dissertation sounds interesting. Tell me more. Do you understand the nuance of medical imaging and machine learning? To be honest, not really. That's why I want to learn. Please, educate me. Oh. I would change the subject to something you can easily understand. I disagree. What does it feel like to be a hero? You know, no one believes me when I say that it's not that great as people think. Oh no. The world saw me as Mercy, a guardian angel, noble and perfect. But I'm also just Angela Ziegler. And I am not perfect. And when the world saw that, saw me, they were disappointed. I don't mind being Mercy. If the world needs her, then I will be there. But I wish... I wish they would always welcome Angela. I can work this. Wow. I need you, Angela. She chokes on her sip of water. The other patrons look over, oozing disdain at her gauche behavior. Gauche. You discreetly slide a napkin towards her. You okay? Y yes I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. But she looks down, face still pink. Thank you for saying that. It's nice to hear. I was wondering. I'm volunteering at a clinic in Cairo tomorrow. Would you like to see Angela trying to save the world? Cairo. Egypt? No, Ohio. <laughs> I don't know if there's a Cairo, Ohio. I literally can't miss it unless I stop here. <laughs> Little fourth wall break, that's great. She beams at you, soars away, leaving the lingering scent of perfection, and you with the bill. That'll be $562, because we're in Monaco. Well, perfect to you. Well, one way or another, that date is complete. Thanks so much. Did our night go, or how did my night go? She seems happy with you. Only through carelessness will you lose her heart now. But there is still another date in your future. Do what you can to prepare. I sense this one will be the most important of all. The third date awaits. Let's go. There's no time to waste. As soon as the airship touched down in Cairo, it was straight to the clinic. It's a modest clinic, bright and clean. Angela hands you a pair of scrubs, and she puts on a lab coat, and she tends to patients. You help as much as you can. 
Hallways mopped, paperwork filed and sorted, supplies stocked. You sit down in the break room, exhausted. Angela enters. You straighten up immediately. You must be tired. I'll make you some coffee. She hands you a cup of something that looks like coffee. It smells like coffee, but it's definitely not quality coffee. I hate coffee. Her genius does not extend to the baristorial arts, if such a thing exists. You drink it enthusiastically. It's endearingly revolting, but strong. Do you like it? Just what the doctor ordered. I know it's terrible, but there's plenty more, so help yourself. Your stomach gurgles in protest, but hey, it'll keep you awake. Everyone's telling me that you're a great help. Keep it up! She leaves, her compliment energizing you more than any cup of coffee ever could. Get back to volunteering, you sexy bastard. You head back into the clinic lobby, picking out coffee grinds from your teeth. You're quite the brave one. I don't know who to do a voice for that one. You recognize that quiet, wry voice. You turn around and it's... <gasps> Anna, checking in. No one has experienced Angela's coffee and come out smiling the other end. I can't do Anna's voice. Anna? The Anna Amara, legendary sniper, originally Overwatch Strike squad member? The bane of most of your matches? What is she doing here? Anna, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, I'm always aching somewhere. You know that. And who is this? This is Hal Saxon. <laughs> My... She blushes pink mercy. Trademark. Pink. I'm just helping out Angela for the day. Just helping out? Is that right? Well, okay. She doesn't need any help, to be honest. But I thought I could take care of little things, so she can focus on her patients. Hmm. Her gaze pierces you. This is different. Okay. Her gaze pierces you. You know those eyes, I, have seen the world's most dangerous criminals in their final moments. I have already told Farah to look for someone who helps her focus on the important things. I'm glad you found someone like that, Angela. It was nice meeting you, Hal Saxon. From TF2. She leaves. Angela clears her throat and avoids eye contact with you. Um, I'll see you when the shift ends. You're alone, wondering what just happened. Well done! You've impressed Anna Amari. <sighs> yeah, thanks for... Mm, the bottom one. Where the heck were you? Some mortals frighten even the gods themselves. The important matter is you impressed a close friend. Anna's opinion of you will heavily influence your fate with Dr. Ziegler. And speaking of fate, are you ready to see how your journey ends? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. We will see. Do you have a moment? I want to talk about something with you. Run away. Angela lends you the top floor of the clinic. What, the, the, these tents of floors? Where there's a rooftop terrace with a stunning view of Cairo. With stunning views, okay, yeah, of Cairo. Wow. Spectacular, isn't it? I come up here often after a long shift. You both take in the views of the city. The Nile sparkling orange from the setting sun, and the high-rise apartments and freeways gathered around its shores. Uh, that's kind of depressing sounding, actually. So, what did you want to talk about? I wanted to thank you for these last few days together. You saw me for who I really am, and instead of judging or ex <laughs> instead of judgment or expectations, you gave me humor, compassion, and kindness. That someone like you exists in the world. It makes me want to believe in a little stronger. Believe in it a little stronger. Fight for it a little harder. I want to show you something. Take my hand. Come see this world from above as I do, in all its beauty. Accept Mercy's love. I would go anywhere with you. Wow, she changed fast. 
The Valkyrie's wings spread open. Angela takes your hand and you both soar into the clouds. I've known many heroes, but you are mine. You have embarked on the journey of love and found what you desire at the end. Love takes many forms, but it is always true. May you cherish this love with mercy forever and always. I found love in Midtown. New rewards unlocked. Return to main menu to claim. Visit the reward screen to redeem your new rewards. Uh, download card. <laughs> mercy loves you. Follow your heart's path. Aww. Why is there two download card buttons? Um. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I'll download it. Why not, you know? Uh, can I just save image? I'm really glad nothing was inappropriate there. Anyways, doesn't doesn't matter. Save, good, all right. I'll turn that into a TF2 spray later. <laughs> Rewards. Redeeming this reward may refresh the page. You may return to the screen anytime to redeem. Yes. Ah, I see. Oh, I think I might have to play the Genji uh, playthrough to get the, uh, the Hanzo skin, so I'm gonna do that later. This was fun. Um, let me know if you want me to do other dating sims. Because I like doing voices. So. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. If you're alone, love yourself. If you're with someone else, love them. Goodbye. <laughs>